Good morning, students. Today we want to learn about trial balance with a very simple illustrations on balancing the accounts and uh, extracting the trial balance. So I'll take you through the question. Uh, Sir Dominic had the following transactions for the month ended 31st, December 2022. But A started business with a check of 200,000 bought goods for sale, cash, 60,000, paid rent, shillings, 20,000, sold goods for shillings, 100,000. Then um, you are required to balance off the account from the following transactions and extract a trial balance. Suggested solution is um, below here. We are going to do it starting with scenario A. So then what do we do? To balance off the account, then we'll open up the ledger accounts using the T accounts in this case. And then later we'll balance, we'll extract the trial balance from the accounts. So um, this is how we are going to go about it. So that is our T account. But it says started business with a check of 200,000. So what happens? Mostly two, account, <clears throat> two accounts will be affected in this scenario. It's the bank account and the capital. So he's investing 200,000 to start up the business. So you should be able to identify the accounts that are affected for each and every transactions, as we also tend to um, comply with one of the accounting principles, which is the dual concept or the double entry. So then we'll have check, we'll have bank, sorry. We'll have bank here. So I'm going to do bank. This is the debit side, this is the credit side. And on the below, I'll also open up another account and say capital account. So we'll have the DR this side, and then the credit this side. So then um, bank being the asset, so our bank is increasing with that amount. So simply it is capital. Bank is increasing capital of um, the amount is um, 200,000. So you can say 200,000. And then um, we credit capital, that a credit balance. So you simply say bank, 200,000. Then we'll go to part B. Bought goods for sale for sale at a cash of sixty thousand. So if you bought goods, then one of the accounts that will be affected is the um, purchases account and the cash because we use cash to bought this thing. So our cash will reduce by this, but our purchases will increase with the same amount. So then we'll come, we'll create in the T account, do cash, debit, credit. Then down here, and say we have purchases. Debit, credit. So then our cash is reducing with 60,000. So if a cash reduces, then automatically it's being credited. So we'll say purchases. Then we debit uh, purchases account because this account is increasing. We say purchases, but we say 60,000. Now part B has been solved. Then we go to part C. Paid rent. 
with the 20,000. So rent is an expense, an increase in expense, you will be debited, but our cash again will still reduce with 20,000. So we have the cash account, so we won't be able to open another one. So what happens? We only create the expense account, which is rent, say debit, say credit. Then this account is increasing, so we'll say cash, 20,000. This account is reducing by rent, say 20,000. Then we do part um, D, sold goods for a hundred thousand. So um, you could be able to identify the two accounts, which one of them will be sales account, and the other one is cash. So our cash has increased by this. An increase in cash is debited, an increase in sales is credited. So simply we come and Open up sales account. Debit credit. So we say cash. And then we say also here sales increases by a hundred thousand. So being able to identify the accounts and posting them to the relevant uh, uh, ledger accounts, then now uh, we'll be able now to balance off these accounts and see whether we have a credit balance or a credit balance. So simply here, we'll have a balance brought down to 200,000 automatically we'll be able to close this account. There being no any other transactions. 200,000. 200,000. So then we, we say we have a balance brought down. Balance brought down. Of 200,000. Remember, this is a balance carried down. But this is a balance carried down. Then we go to capital. We'll have our balance carried down. It's 200,000. Simply close this account. Say 200,000, 200,000. We simply have a credit balance. So we'll have a, a balance brought down 200,000. We'll be able to balance this account and see which account, which uh, side has more. I'm seeing the debit side is 100,000 and the credit side is 80,000. So then uh, we have a balance carried down in here of 20,000. Okay, of 20,000. Simply we'll close this account. We'll close this account. See 100,000, 100,000. Then therefore our cash account has um, balance brought down. Just tend to fix it in here. Brought down of twenty thousand. Then we'll go to our purchases. Balance this account. Balance carried down sixty thousand. Sixty thousand. Then we have um, debit balance of sixty thousand. Then we we'll go to rent. We have 
balance carried down, 20,000. Balance of this account, 20,000, 20,000. Then we'll have a debit balance. So balance brought down, simply be 20,000. Okay, and then lastly, we have sales account. So balance carried down is 100,000. So we balance off this account like this, say 100,000. Say 100,000. Then we have balance brought down of 100,000. Therefore, having all this, then now we can now say, we can draw our trial balance. Trial balance. And bring in all the figures. But uh, we need to give it a name. It was Mr. Dominic, trial balance as at um, December, 2022. So then this is just a simple illustration. We'll be able to do a very comprehensive one later. So we'll say we'll start with our bank and our bank is um, 200,000. So then um, we'll have debit and credit. Then we'll have particulars here. So we say we have bank and our bank in this scenario is um, 200,000 balance brought down, which is a debit balance. So we say 200,000. Then number two, we have capital and capital has a credit balance of 200,000. particular capital comes this side 200,000 then we have um, after capital we'll go to cash cash has a debit balance of 20,000 so come here and say cash it's 20,000 then um, we go ahead and say um purchases, which has a balance of, um, debit balance of 60,000. So we say purchases, debit balance of 60,000. Then we proceed and say, um, we have a rent, which has a balance brought down, a debit balance of 20,000. So we say rent, 20,000 shillings and lastly we have a sales account and a sales account has a balance brought down which is a credit balance of a hundred thousand so we say sales and say a hundred thousand so then now we are able now to add all this and then um, they're supposed to add up so we need to know the debit, I think on the credit side is 200,000 plus 100,000 is simply 300,000. Then we have a debit balance of 200, 20, 60, and 20. So 40,000 plus 60 is 100, plus this one is 300,000. That is it for today. Thank you and practice more. We'll be able to do a more comprehensive examples by tomorrow.